Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm super excited to be doing a Nintendo Switch themed video. I feel like I haven't talked about the Switch for a while so I'm super excited to talk about it today. And this is going to be my top 10 or just 10 games that I have on pre-order for the Nintendo Switch. So 10 games I'm really looking forward to that are upcoming that I have actually pre-ordered and I will be picking up on the release day. Um, so I'm really excited because we've got quite a nice little mix here and there are obviously a couple of other games that I, I might be pre-ordering or maybe if they come out like way later in the year I've just not um, pre-ordered them yet because I'll wait till closer to the time. I don't know why I do that but sometimes I just do. So let's just dive right in and the first one, I've got the list on my phone here, the first one is probably the one that I'm most excited about which seems kind of weird but it's Super Chariot and this comes out on the 11th of May and I couldn't be more excited. It's like a couch co-op game and it just looks so cute. I definitely recommend looking it up. So I saw a trailer for this when it was released kind of on the PS4 only uh, a digital version was released and it was like £65 or something or £70. It was something really crazy for a digital one and I'm not really sure why but there were some things behind it and I really really wanted it but I was like well do I really want to pay that much for something that you know isn't a physical one it's just a digital one but I desperately really did want it and I thought you know what okay I'll forget about it for now you know everything like that and then it got announced coming out on the Switch physical these are all physical releases as well and I, I couldn't be more excited it's only £25 I think on pre-order I've pre-ordered it I can't wait 11th of May looks fantastic I definitely re recommend you uh, look it up if you haven't looked it up already because I feel like maybe not too many people know about it but it just looks so cute and so fantastic and I honestly cannot wait for it. So that's Super Chariot. The next one is Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze which comes out on the 4th of May. Couldn't be more excited about this. I have owned the Wii U version so this is a port from the Wii U. Um, but I really want to own it on the Switch, I think it'll look fantastic. I've been playing through Donkey Kong Country Returns in preparation for this one, so I want to complete Donkey Kong Country Returns before Tropical Freeze comes out, which is looking to be possible, it's looking like that's going to work out, so that's good, uh, because this is only next month now, both Super Chariot and Donkey Kong both come out next month, so I absolutely cannot wait, uh, I'm sure May will be a fantastic month. But yeah, can't wait for this game, really really looking forward to it. I really enjoyed it on the Wii U but I didn't get too far because Donkey Kong games are kind of hard and you do have to really persist with them. Um, on Donkey Kong Country Returns I'm on World 4 so I'm kind of feeling like I've picked it up now, I'm getting to the grips of things and I'm doing a better job. So I think I'll be better at Tropical Freeze this time around. So yeah, really really looking forward to that. The next one is Mario Tennis Aces, this comes out on June 22nd. This is probably the one that I'm looking forward to the second most, I guess you'd say. Um, Super Chariot I'm just really excited about, this one's probably the one that I'm really excited about next. And I'm not even sure why but I always do enjoy the Mario sports games and this one just looks so fun and so fantastic, I just literally absolutely cannot wait for this. I feel like it doesn't need much explaining but I'm really really looking forward to it. The next one on my list I don't actually have a date for, I'm not exactly sure when it's releasing but it is Hyrule Warriors the Definitive Edition. I own the one on the Wii U, I own the one on the 3DS so I'm looking forward to owning the one on the Switch. I know that might kind of seem weird and a bit stupid but I never completed the one on the Wii U. And that's simply because I never completed too many Wii U games because I just didn't play the Wii U too often. And now that they've been moved over to the Switch I'm really happy to rebuy them, own them on the Switch and play through them and complete them there. I don't know, it just seems to be how things are. I've done that with a couple of games. The Yoshi's Woolly World I owned on the Wii U, then they released it on the 3DS. I played through it on the 3DS, loved it. Again, I'd already played through half of it on the Wii U, but it didn't really matter. I just played through it again and enjoy it just as much. So yeah, looking forward to playing Hyrule Warriors on the Switch. I played Fire Emblem Warriors, but I haven't quite completed that yet. I'm kind of near the end, so I want to complete that one up before picking up Hyrule Warriors but yeah can't wait for this I'm sure it'll be fantastic and again I kind of played it but it was quite a while ago now. The next one on my list actually comes out this month and I'm super looking forward to it and it's Max and the Curse of the Brotherhood which comes out on the 24th of April. This just looks so cool and really really cute it's like a platformer where you can kind of draw things to 
you know, add new mechanics in and it just looks really cool. I've been looking forward to this for quite a while. I think it was supposed to come out in March and then it got delayed a little bit. And I think it's been out on another system before. So this isn't like a new game, um, but it's now coming to the Switch. So I'm really looking forward to it. I've never played it before and it just looks like something that's really up my street and something a little bit different. So really looking forward to Max. The next one on my list is, of course, the Yoshi game for the Switch. I absolutely cannot wait for it. I love Yoshi. I really did enjoy Kirby Star Allies, but I was a little bit... I, I wasn't disappointed, but it wasn't quite up to my expectations that I wanted it to be. So I'm hoping that the Yoshi game will really live up to my expectations and it'll be really something fantastic. I loved Yoshi's Woolly World. I thought that was a really, really good game. Like I say, I played it on the Wii U. And then I played it on the 3DS and I really, really loved it. Um, obviously, I know this is a different kind of style of game, but I'm still hoping it'll be just as good with some fantastic mechanics and levels. Uh, I'm sure it will be. I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. The next one on my list is one that I couldn't believe and I was like, whoa! Oh my gosh, I found out about it the other day. Super excited. It's Lego The Incredibles. It comes out on the 13th of July. Obviously, it's not just a Switch game. Was there any others that weren't just Switch? I'm not sure. I think most of them, maybe Max might not be, but a lot of them have been Switch exclusive so far, but Lego Incredibles isn't, but still, I'm picking it up on the Switch, I'm so excited, I love The Incredibles, I'm looking forward to The Incredibles 2, I just can't wait for this. To be fair, I probably won't play it until I've seen The Incredibles 2, which probably won't be in the cinema. I'll probably wait for on Blu-ray, then I'll watch it, then I'll play this game, because obviously I'm presuming it's going to be linked in with the second movie, but still can't believe that we're getting a Lego Incredibles game. I just absolutely cannot wait. I'm sure it'll be fantastic. I just, yes, super, super happy, super excited. Amazing. Uh, the next one on my list is actually kind of a trick to the system. It's Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker, which comes out on the 13th of July also. However, I have not actually pre-ordered this one yet because I am planning on picking it up on the day, but they're releasing it on the 3DS and they're releasing it on the Switch. And I don't know which version I want. I own this game on the Wii U. I got it for my birthday a few years ago. I loved it. I completed it. It's fantastic. I definitely recommend it. It's a really cool puzzle game. So I've completed the game on the Wii U. And I really am excited to play through it again and own it again. But I'm just not sure what system I want to pick it up on. Um, it seems like the logical one would be the Switch. It's obviously going to look better. You can have it on the TV. I probably will pick up on the Switch to be fair. But I'm just really into my 3DS at the moment. And I take my 3DS on the go, whereas I don't take my Switch on the go. So I'm just not sure. But again, I'll probably pick it up on the Switch. That's where I'm leaning more towards at the moment. But I actually haven't pre-ordered it yet because I haven't fully decided. Uh, but yeah, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, really looking forward to it. Definitely a great puzzle game. If you missed out on it on the Wii U, I'd definitely give it a look into because it was a really cute little fun game. Okay, so the next game on my list also comes out this month in April and it is Urban Trial Playground. This looks really, really cool. It comes out on April 24th. I love Trials Fusion on the PlayStation 4. I played that game over and over and over. I played the levels a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. And I always wanted another game like that. This basically is kind of similar to that. It doesn't look quite as good, but it looks similar. So I was like, yes, so this is exactly what I've been wanting and waiting for. I really wanted something like that on the Switch as well, so this is perfect. I'm really, really looking forward to this. It's, it's only about 20 something pounds for pre-order, so it's kind of at a good price as well. It's not super high or anything. Um, and I think it'll be good. I hope that it'll be almost as good as Trials. I'm not 100% sure that it will be, but I'm just, I, I feel like it'll fill that need I've been wanting for that type of game. So I'm really looking forward to that, and I was glad to see, you know, something like that was coming to the Switch. So yeah, really excited about that one. Okay, so the final game on my list here is Yoku's Island Express. This doesn't yet have a date, but it looks so cute and really cool. It kind of reminds me of Ori. I think it's Ori in the Blind Forest, which is only like a digital thing, um, which I had on the PlayStation 4, which is really, really cute, and it's a platforming game. But Ori's kind of all blues and cave colours, whereas Yoku's Island Express is all you know, greens and tropical forest colours, but it looks really, really cute. It's a platformer. I feel like I really love it. I hope the mechanics are really good. I hope it's a good game. I feel like it's one that could be hit or miss, but I'm really looking forward to it, and I feel like I'll really enjoy it. So again, if you haven't heard of that one, definitely look up the trailer, because if you like 2D platformers, I feel like it's a really cute, interesting one, and if you like kind of cute games, I feel like it 
fits that role or if you've played Ori. I, I feel like Ori is quite different because it's kind of all one thing, it's not like levels. Uh, but for some reason just the way that how it was, when it was zoomed out, I felt like it looked kind of that way in similar mechanics, kind of. Um, but yes, yeah, so those are all my 10 Switch games that I um, have on pre-order that I'm really, really looking forward to. I will be in a Switch collection soon of the ones that I already own. And I'm, I really am loving the Switch, but I've kind of realised that the 3DS, you know, might not be around for too much longer. So I've been really investing a lot of time into the 3DS as well, which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, so I love the Switch and I still love the 3DS. I really hope both can coincide together because they do seem to be doing well and the 3DS is still, you know, doing pretty well. So I'm hoping that is actually what happens. But I do love the Switch and I'm really, really looking forward to these games. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and would like to see another one in the future. Maybe, you know, in the next um, four or five months, another few games that I've got on pre-order. Uh, and I can do that as well. Let me know what games you're looking forward to down in the comments below because there might be some that I didn't know about or... You know, I don't know. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.